Welcome back to The Road to Zack. In the last video, we took a pretty big L, but that's okay. We managed to come away with our life intact, and that's by far the most important thing. We didn't have nearly enough damage to consistently do the pizza phase, and because of that, in this video, I'm gonna do everything that I can to get just that little bit of extra damage needed so that we can send this thing and get it done no problem. When you have to teleport out during the Zuck fight, it actually doesn't reset the waves, and because of that, Zuck is just waiting for me. He's sitting there menacingly, waiting for me to come back and try my luck again. Now, if I'm able to defeat him without completing the waves in one inventory, I'm not actually going to get the Igneous Stone for the cape, so upon completing him, we're going to have to go back through all the waves all over again. But it's going to be a really good test for me to get an idea of how many supplies it's going to take and to get our first actual kill count at Zuck. So even though there's no cape involved, it's a perfect opportunity to practice. As soon as we get that practice kill, we're going to do the whole thing for real. But yeah, basically, we're just, we're not strong enough yet. Like, I was doing everything I can, so we need to just spend a couple days, get a little bit taller, a little bit stronger, and then we run it back. Alrighty, this is a huge level coming in right now. We are finally 74 Archaeology, which means we can do City at Seniston and unlock Insight, Fear, Exsanguinate, and Anime Dead. An absolutely massive level right there. <laughs> that is 81 divination coming in not bad we are getting back into actually doing caches because i have invention which means i need divine charges which means we're gonna have a real 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 bad time <laughs> this setup is so funny okay be prepared for a dangerous boss fight immediately after finish the puzzle blood warden will different any damage over time ability especially a special attack will cause it to kill over time okay so i'm assuming this boss fight's easy right so i can't use damage over time abilities He's got 50k life points! Wait, I just used a damage over time ability. <laughs> he hasn't hit me yet, though. Okay, so far, I feel pretty whelmed about this boss fight. Oh, he's healing. He's healing! I'm not using dots. Why is he healing? That's what he does? Wait, this is actually kind of hard. I was... I was joking! What the crap? Okay, I did it. That was actually really bad. Alrighty, that is City of Senison complete... 298 quest points as well. That's actually huge. We're now 79 Slayer as well. Comet XP lamp. Uh, let's check it on probably summoning, right? Yeah, may as well. Asking about ancient magics. Actually beautiful. Alrighty, team. We are in such a good spot now. Bro, look how short I am. Heck no. Uh-uh. This is slander. Look at... Why am I so stubby? Boom, 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 boom. I have 100k produce. Claim rewards. What do I need? We're not even close. Awesome. But yeah, I'm so excited. I, I think Zuck is now a lot more in the cards. Yeah, we need to try some PBMing with Anime Dad. That's going to be the next thing I do. I just want to see what it's like. And then after we do some PBMing, we'll get to training invention. A desert amulet for? Welcome to the team, gamer. You're on the team. This is actually exceptionally clean. That was a blistering pace. I got to change my preset. That was so good. Dude, three undergeared irons with cybers, and we're just absolutely melting it. Elder Trove, Pog. That was my Reaper, dude. 24 Reaper points. That's pretty sick. We're going to keep going, though. I'm actually just really enjoying this. I'm sure I'm not going to do 10 hours of this because we need to go train Invention so that I can go back to Zuck. This is kind of like a side mission, but it's been a fun side mission. Okay, so wait. I can actually do Lord of Imperium right now. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. But that gets me the crappy Sun Spear. And then for the goaded Sun Spear, I need three attack levels, three late range levels, and then it's fire making. So actually, we could do that like in the next week. Like pretty easily, right? As long as I'm AFKing fire making on my own time, we're gonna be gaming. That is 76 range, not too bad. Two more levels until we have the range requirement for um for River of Blood. And our Salamander is also level two, which is far more important, of course. Oh, baby, we are about to be booming and zooming. Holy crap. Okay, I didn't realize how sick that's going to be. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 invention is going to be perfect. We could go for like level 45, level 50. Oh, the things I can make. Yo, we're about to get so many levels. I couldn't, I've never been so happy in my life. This might be literally the happiest moment of my life. It's this Twitch partnership 
and then the birth of my children. I don't have kids. And then buying Pippin. Buying Pippin after this. Uh, so here's the deal. I did a bunch of fish mention last night and the night before. I'm not gonna lie, this fishing rod automatic literally took two nights to level up. But uh, it's level nine. That's gonna give me a bunch of invention XP. Should get me pretty close to level 40. Basically, I want level 40, and then we're gonna get some perks, and then we might be ready to go to Zuck. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And then the other thing we've done too is I'm AFKing fire making, sort of on my off stream time, because as soon as I'm at 76, we basically have everything we need to do Lord of Imperium and then also River of Blood, which is a big one. Because Lord of Imperium, we can do it. We've been able to do it for like a week. But without River of Blood, it's not hugely helpful. Definitely not like efficient, but it was AFK. It was safe. And we are now level 35 invention just like that, which is actually pretty sick. Give me some runecrafting XP. Probably like a level or two. Yeah, a level, not bad. That is level 70 farming. It's pretty cool. Oh my. Ain't no way. <laughs> partially catered to new players, but partially. Oh, hey, look, I got a pet. I'm being silenced. Also 2200 total, which is pretty cool. Inspect, there we go, not bad. Why am I doing range for Drash runs and not magic? Um, because I'm training invention. I'm just leveling salamanders right now, but I don't have magic gear that I can level and disassemble. I wish I did because my range level is terrible. Although it's slightly less terrible now. That is level 79 coming in. All right, salamander, I'm sending you to the ranch dimension. That was sick. That was actually huge. All right, chat, it's time to roll up to augmentation station and figure out some perks. Okay, bro, come on. Better. Wait, 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 what? Hold up. That is friggin' rare. It's not that rare. I mean, it's pretty, for first try, slightly baited, but I'm actually fired up with that, dude. That's huge. I'm good to the one in 16. I'm so good with the one in 16. So we got precise three, equilibrium two. That's augment our cybers. Level 42 invention, pog. Surely we can do a humble raid with this setup. Got a couple irons, a couple hardcores, a couple means. It's gonna be great. Wait, a hundred thousand charges is only enough for three hours? Oh god. We need to do Cash's team. We gotta do Cash's stat. Now that we've unlocked Animate Dead, we've also gained access to a brand new piece of content, which is raids. Well, technically not raids, because we're not gonna be touching the sea snake with a 10-foot pole, but Beastmaster Durzeg is absolutely back on the menu. We're gonna do our first couple raids now, and I'm likely not gonna do an absolute ton of them, but I would like to get, at the very least, Storm Shards and Shatter, as well as Corruption Blast. They're extremely good abilities, and they're worth having. If we can get lucky, both those abilities will be extremely helpful for Zuck, and if not, well, we could still have some fun and do some raids. Dude, the Earth Spell's coming in clutch. Dude, look how much damage I'm doing. I think we're gonna be fine for Zuck. Look at this. I'm actually hitting pretty okay, you know? Big res. Bonk. Oh! That's not the hardcore. Everything's fine. This is going okay. That was a little spooky though. When both pets were on me, like we actually had to chuck on the shield and reflect. But we're safe. We don't have heroes yet. We're going to pretty soon though. Anyone want to do a second one? That's a sun spear. Oh yeah, that's a sun spear. Oh yeah. This is what it's all about. Um, uh, any drops? Nope. That's all right. We'll get there. It's Zuck day today. I'm so stressed out about it, but it's time to get it done. Igneous Omni Power is gonna be sick. We just need to not die. That's it. Also, that's 76 agility. Let's freaking go. One more level of doing Jot on agility, and then we can start doing the Prif agility course, which just makes it a million times better. I can boost and make, um, restore an APOT flasks and overload flasks. Wait, how have we, how are we just discovering this now? We could have been doing this the whole month. <laughs> okay, let's make replenishment potions. This is Cat. With our current setup, I think we can take on Zuck. But like we mentioned at the beginning, he's currently just sitting there, menacingly waiting for me because we failed on our last run at Zuck. Completing him here will not give us a cape, but it is an awesome opportunity for practice, so let's see if we can take him out right now. The biggest test, of course, is going to be pizza time, because that's where we messed up and didn't have enough damage on the last run. If this goes well, I'm going to feel absolutely fantastic about us finally unlocking our Zuck cape. Man, it sure would suck if I died and lost my hardcore. <laughs> Why do I need game sounds? Because they're sick? Okay, my binds are good, right? Yeah, I've got food, I got brew, super restore, teleport to wars four separate times. Let's animate. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Wish me luck. This seems pretty okay, actually. Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay, good. So now we just want to juice this as close as we can. 
That was way better. Yeah, in sight fear, pretty goaded for this. I'm not gonna lie. It seems to help a lot. So remember, we're not gonna get the cape for this, so we're gonna have to do this on less supplies, but I think we got this. Alrighty. What do you got for me? First Zuck kill, not on a full run. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So how much food do I use there? Oh, not a lot. That gives me two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen brew flasks for the rest of the run. I think I can do it. Yeah, I think I can do it. So let's go buy some more super stores and then let's do some taco farming. I need a total of 45k taco and then we're good to go. But yeah, that felt pretty safe to me. That felt quite good. Wish me luck, guys. It's time to zuck or be zucked. I threw. I just threw. I tried to G step, but I didn't have infinite space. <laughs> I think we could have gone for a flawless here. And then reflect. Ha! Bro, reflect doesn't do anything. Bro, what are y'all talking about? Being like, oh yeah, I just reflect it. Reflect doesn't do anything. Only thing getting reflected is my hardcore status, bro. Wait, I'm almost 99 magic. Maybe we're gonna get it from Zuck. All right, chat, 20 minutes in, we're at the magic challenge. We're flying. Animate dead is everything. Obsidian gear, helpful a bit. Animate dead is changing my life right now. Yeah, the attempt in obsidian literally took an hour, like a full hour. We're 24 minutes in and we're almost at Zuck. Dude, this is gonna be a clean three cycle. Oh yeah. This is where G-Conk would be really, really nice. I can confirm this is a million times better. Like this is, we could have done this as a no food kill, I think. Maybe not the Zuck part, but honestly, maybe. Like, the ease of this, is it cannot be overstated. Like, I'm just soul split camping. Whereas last time I had to do, like, prayer flicking and casting rejuvenate. I'm just sitting on full HP right now. Do I have Manny on now? No, it's for later. I, I feel like on Manny, I'm going to get shredded a bit by these guys because they, I believe they penetrate your defensives. And I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't feel like having my defenses penetrated currently. All right, Maniacal's on. So I'm not gonna tsunami here. I'm saving it for pizza time. Look at the prayer flicks, bro. Come on. Dude, my cooldowns are so perfect. Yeah, we're doing so well with, look at this, man. Come on. Come on. That's the RS guy difference right there, bro. I'm actually glad we did a practice run though, because my rotation is completely set. Like my rotation is perfect. It's absolutely perfect for this. We're basically no fooding it. Bunk. So this is perfect. We want it to be just over 100K, right? Because it doubles the first spec. Uh, I need to phase it to 100K so that I don't get blood without freedom. It's not dead. Wait, did my stun splash? Juice it, go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, we're fine. Phase it, please. Oh my god! That was so friggin' close. Dude, why didn't my deep impact go through? Holy crap. That could have been really bad, dude. Oh, my heart. I can literally feel my heart beating out of my chest right now. Back it up, back it up, back it up. We're fine. We got it, we got it, we got it. Dude, I don't know why my stun on the second one didn't go through. Is it possible I didn't have a Dren? Maybe I didn't have a Dren. Wait, I might get another pizza time here. Come on. I'm getting another pizza time. It's not done yet, team.
We're not free yet, yet. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe I was out of range, so my stun didn't go through. You idiot. <laughs> ah, that was such an L. All right, we're fine. <laughs> ah, that was so much more stressful than it needed to be. <laughs> I think, like, I think the 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 play of going in with G-Conk would have been maybe smart, but hey, we did it. <laughs> Holy crap! All right, let's see what component we get from this thing, right? I'm kidding. Um, let's craft our kit. We'll have to do that in a moment. That was close, man. That was right down to the wire. Whew. Gets the blood flowing. What an absolutely fire activity. Gaming. And that is a beautiful magic Zuck cape. Look how ugly it is. Nice cape. Nice mom. Okay, we got the cape, so no harm, no foul, but... We had an extremely close call, and the majority of it was because one of the mobs that was supposed to be stunned to stop healing didn't get stunned. So if you watch back the clip, you can see me clearly click on the Tazar, you can see the target reticle under it, and then I press my impact keybind. And then impact shoots out of my character and hits Zuck for some reason. <laughs> Uh, I've watched this clip back like 10, 15 times. I have no idea why that happened or how that happened. At no point do I retarget. I don't hit my target cycle button. Nothing. But at the end of the day, we didn't die. So it's no harm, no foul. And I ain't even mad about it. <laughs> With our newly acquired Zuck Cape, I finally feel like we're starting to be able to do some damage. Are we anywhere near the end game yet? Absolutely not. But this should give me just enough juice to be able to access a whole lot more content. Things like Duo Virago and things like Carapac should be more doable than ever before, which is absolutely awesome for gear progression. So with that said, why don't we celebrate our Zuck Keep by going to Carapac? Because if I can get Greater Concentrated Blast, that's going to be a massive boost to pretty much everything else we're going to be doing for the remainder of this account. Ooh, Dragon Bones. And a little PR too, not bad. Oh! Um... <laughs> I can finally swap spellbooks without being in a world of pain. That is level 99 magic coming in. I'm actually pretty happy about that. That's pretty sick. My second 99 on the account because Krosis ruins everything. Honestly, seems really good. Got borrowed power that I haven't unlocked yet. But yeah, the biggest thing there is just the QML of being able to swap spellbooks at the bank. Um, That's an awesome, awesome, awesome second 99. I have a feeling defense is going to be quickly following suit. It's time to find out how badly things can go. All right, chat, let's try this out. Oh wait, I don't have a tr I hope this goes okay. I mean, we've done a solo before. I haven't tried one on a bunyip and no aura, but... Okay, so wait, one tick, two ticks, sunshine. Wait, I'm doing no damage. Oh, I'm throwing. I think the last time I tried this, I had Vuln too. I mean, I'm using zero food, right? That aspect of this is good. Ooh. That was spooky. <laughs> That was really spooky. That was fun. I like that. I'm definitely using no food. Like, that's good, right? That aspect of this is really, really good. The only aspect of it that is not good is every other aspect of it. Do -do 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 -do. What'd I get? Money. Cool. I use zero food at all. Wait. And based on the kill time, that's the exact same efficiency as trailing. That's beautiful. And I don't even have an aura. Yeah, we are getting consistent. No food carapet kills. Oh my goodness. Four minutes 30 with no aura. Goodbye. <laughs> See, bro. Yeah, this is like super passable. I'd like to try power gear at some point, but I realize the only reason this is easy is because I'm in 28 piece grip loom. Omni power on an account that has no power bonus is really funny though. It's kind of hilarious. No biting, no anything. My Kriplin pants aren't even augmented. 
because I don't have the invention level required to augment pants. <laughs> but we're still, we're persisting. With our second 99 on the account, and finally, the ability to solo normal mode carrot pack, that is going to be the end of the road to a Zuck cape on a hard cry Iron man. Thank you all so much for watching this video. It genuinely means the world to me and I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, sub, all that good stuff. And if you wanna leave a comment, you can leave feedback on this series, whether it's positive or negative, that's extremely appreciated. We tried something very different with this four part mini series of progression on the hardcore instead of just a regular progress video. And I'd love to get your thoughts. With all that said, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon for the next one.